Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to show you how you can make from these cheap plastic drawers this amazing drawer towel which is really strong and you can even sit on it. I hope you will enjoy process video. So today craft video will be a little bit different. Uh, it will be not about junk journaling, but about my storage, storage system. Uh, I've been shopping a little bit. I bought these six uh, mini drawers. I found them in the range. It's here in, in Rodrem and I found these uh, drawers. They are perfect size. They are not too small, not too big. And I do have those six. I don't want to put them uh, on my shelves separately i want to put them all together and make one beautiful uh, shelf which will be sitting on my table so first of all i had to take off that plastic wrapping and then i decided to put always two of these boxes together luckily these boxes has uh, have a removable top lid so always i took off one lid from one of these boxes and I clicked on the top the second box uh, this way I made two long uh, drawers or I'm not sure how to explain it uh, always two together once I had three of these long storage uh, boxes I used my hot glue gun I placed uh, that hot glue on that plastic frame on those side uh, strips and I glued another my uh, drawer tower on the side of that first one same way I glued that third uh, drawer tower to those two which I already glued together to make sure this f those frames will hold properly I put quite lots of glue between uh, those plastic uh, frames between uh, those pl plastic st strips on the sides to make sure it will hold together and all this it's kind of like preparation for using uh, spray paint uh, that base so uh, I need to make sure that everything will hold properly to cover that hot glue uh, I choose to use uh, chipboard pieces. I cut from a uh, chipboard two strips, one quarter of inch wide and same long as was my uh, plastic frame. And I glued those strips on those gaps between my drawers to make it a little bit more pretty. Uh, then I took off also handles uh, from my drawers to make sure I will have nice and clean uh, open space for using my paint. Uh, as a base paint I did use a uh, high cut, uh, just grey painting and I did spray frame and also front of my drawers. I did cut two pieces for sides. Uh, same uh, same size I cut one piece for the back of this uh, of this composition and I did cut four pieces for top and uh, bottom part and you will see why uh, here you can see how I am gluing those side uh, pieces of that cardboard box I did cut exactly same size as was my uh, plastic frame First I glued those side uh, cardboard boxes and then I did glue the back cardboard box on that uh, on the back of this plastic plastic frame. Uh, I made sure that I will put there quite a lot of hot glue, hot glue because uh, I didn't want to mess up this one. I want to make this frame and this all this storage box uh, very strong. And it is strong. It's nicely strong. So there is quite lots of glue under all this uh, cardboard. Once I had glued uh, those side uh, cardboards and the, the back cardboards, uh, I started to put together the base for bottom of my storage system and also uh, for top. I glued always two pieces together. Uh, I did cut them 
uh, half inch bigger than its my plastic frame to make sure I will have there also some kind of decoration around. And because my plastic uh, drawers are a little bit curved, uh, I wanted to make also that cardboard box kind of match that, that shape of my plastic frame. That's why I cut two corners of that bottom rectangle and also from that top rectangle, which I am using with those cardboard boxes. Then I measured how thick uh, those two glued two cardboard boxes are and from a uh, chipboard I did cut quite lots of strips in that size, how thick those cardboard boxes are. I think it was half inch and I started to use those strips as um, a decoration <laughs> to cover this cardboard box. It looks amazing. Uh, it doesn't look like I used cardboard boxes for making my storage stronger and I really like this this uh, very easy way how to cover that you are using cardboard box uh, as, as your uh, as your building material. So I did glue to those uh, chipboard strips all around of the bottom part and top part for my storage uh, storage system. And then I took my frame and I glued it to that bottom and uh, then I glued that top uh, part on the top of <laughs> this storage system. I hope you will understand my explanation. Once I had glued all these uh, parts, I used my last strips of of that chipboard and I glued those strips on sides uh, to cover that cardboard box also on those sides. Once all this was done, uh, I took black acrylic paint and I painted all frame, uh, including all sides, bottom, top, back part uh, of this frame uh, I painted with that black paint. It was uh, kind of like base for next coloring. I wanted to make this uh, frame or this drawer uh, in kind of like uh, industry style uh, dark, like a little bit grungy. So my first coat was this black paint and then I decided to use silver paint and uh, kind of make a uh, look I like it's metal, uh, like very old worn metal. And for that, it's very important to have that black base. Here you will see uh, that for that uh, metal look, I did use iridescent uh, acrylic me medium and it's brilliant to use it. So I uh, used a little bit of that uh, iridescent medium because it was quite thick. I had to used a little bit of water and make it more leaky and then with soft brush I dab 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 all over of this frame a little bit of that silver uh, iridescent medium acrylic medium and then I used wet wipes and kind of like wipe it off it's not like uh, I did wipe it off I'm more I like spread it with that wet wipe all over of that frame. I put back uh, all these drawers and continued with that technique like dubbing that color using my soft brush and then kind of like spread it with that wet wipe and it does look really amazing. It makes uh, that painting look like it's it's old metal and I really like this technique. It's It's so easy to use that technique. And the result is amazing. Here you can see how it looks. I'm kind of aware it's a lot of that painting I'm taking off with that wipe, where it's less I'm editing with brush. And here you can see uh, to finishing look of my drawers. Uh, I wanted to use these uh, circle key rings uh, and I wanted to make them look vintage. So I used uh, distress ink I think it was walnut stain distress ink and for holding my key rings uh, in those drawers I'm using Utah rope 
I'm placing that Yuta rope to those uh, spaces where there was before that handle from those drawers and I'm gluing it again with hot glue and I put there quite lots of glue all around it, it doesn't seem here on that video but there is quite lots of glue all, ar all around of that rope inside of that drawer to make sure it will hold well and it does hold well so I'm happy I did use th this technique it was very easy and uh, I think it looks amazing and this is how my drawers looks like now it's all dry and I'm so happy it looks this way. They are nice and strong. It's really strong, this, this construction. Even I use those uh, cardboard boxes and uh, I, I hope they will stay still <laughs> for a very, very long time. So that was all my sharing for today. Thank you so, so much for joining me today uh, in that unusual craft, uh, craft session. I hope you did enjoy it. It's really easy to kind of alter those uh, plastic boxes and that plast around, that frame around of those plastic drawers, it's perfect like the base uh, where you can build around. So if you do have any of those drawers uh, at your home, maybe it's good to start to use them a little bit different way. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.